In this first question, we're asked to compare the sizes of neutral lithium with lithium cation. As we look at the periodic table, you can see that neutral lithium has an electron configuration of 1s2, 2s1. That means that its outermost electron is in its uh, 2s orbital. As lithium loses that outermost electron to become lithium cation, it now has the same electron configuration as that of helium. Once again, neutral lithium has an electron configuration of uh, 1s2, 2s1. As it loses this outermost electron, its size is reduced by losing the occupation of that orbital to just become 1s2. So lithium cation would be smaller than neutral lithium. In the second question, we're asked to compare chloride with chlorine. As far as size is concerned, there's very, very little difference between these two. Chloride with a negative charge has the same number of orbitals as neutral chlorine. Furthermore, these chlorines have the same number of protons in their nuclei, of course, because they're both chlorine atoms. The only difference between the two is that negatively charged chloride, the anion, has one more electron. Although that one more electron is very, very small, it will contribute to increasing the size, albeit by a very, very tiny amount. Thus, we would expect chloride to be larger than neutral chlorine. In this next question, we're given lithium uh, cation and asked to compare it with beryllium cation, asked to compare that with boron cation. Looking at the periodic table, you'll see that all of these elements have the same electron configuration as that of helium, which is uh, 1s2. So as far as the number of electrons and orbitals is concerned, we can't make a distinction in size. The major difference between each of these elements is that we have one more proton in the nucleus as we go from left to right. Just as I said regarding the trend of going across a row on the periodic table, because each of these atoms has one more proton than its predecessor, we'd expect that addition of another proton in the nucleus to suck what electrons it has closer and closer and closer. Thus, I would expect, then, that a boron would be the smallest, while lithium would be the largest, and a beryllium would be right in the middle. In this last question, we're asked to compare fluoride with chloride with bromide. For the same reasons I discussed in an earlier video, bromine's outermost electrons are in a much larger 4 energy level, while chlorines are in a 3 energy level and uh, fluorines are in a 2 energy level. That means that bromine's outermost orbitals are going to be much larger in size than chlorines, which will be larger in size than fluorines. Hence, the trend that we would see for these ions going down a column would be the same as we would for their neutral counterparts. Largest will be at the bottom, followed by the mediumest, followed by the smallest. I hope you like that. I just made up the word mediumist on the spot.